Hey guys, Quinn the Eskimo here. Got the uh, noodle challenge, man. But uh, Camper uh, Vantix challenged me to do a noodle challenge. I eat noodles all the time. Well, I'm two hours behind schedule. I don't have the noodles that I wanted to. In fact, I well, I know I brought extra noodles, but uh, not the ones I normally have. Normally, uh, the ones I have are the Thai rice noodles. Comes in ginger and vegetable. But uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to use these. You gotta actually get six meals out of these. Now, it says it's chicken, but there's no spice or anything. So I don't know how these things are going to be. But it's a noodle challenge. And uh, get back to the rice stuff. People who have a problems with wheat, and I, I don't. Um, the Thai rice noodles are good or any rice noodles are good I kind of like rice noodles I normally buy rice noodles I like pasta also but uh, we're doing this and uh, I will I don't I'm not into challenging and tagging I really don't like that too much but he knows I like noodles you know I, I eat noodles all the time man so uh, you know but um, we're gonna do it but uh, I didn't have everything I wanted here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little go hike alcohol stove. I wanted to try a new one, but I got sidetracked. So I got a lot of alcohol right here. But uh, in fact, I had three bottles of alcohol, mostly the uh, you know the ones in the yellow, the good one there. But uh, and then we got uh, pour some water in for tea. And this one. That's for after. I got some tea stuff over there. But uh, see how that goes. I got my small MSR pot, which I thought I ordered the, the big one, but I didn't. But it looks nice, man. It uh, has a top. Oh, damn. Look what I did, man. So I think we're going to go with this, man. I got the Thai noodles, Thai rice noodles. That's what I'm gonna go with. But I want I brought these other ones because I wanted to show you some options. They're, they're very nice. They're wrapped up and they can get like six meals out of them. But this is what I always carry instead of ramen. These are a little better than ramen, better ingredients. These are uh, Thai kitchen, garlic and vegetable, right here. It's on the run. I might have hot sauce in the bag. I'm not looking for it right now, we'll see. But uh, we'll get this going and uh, I'll do this a little different and uh, I'll get these going got a little pack packet comes with there and uh, do that after I'm just gonna break these moves up a bit and uh, I don't think I brought my wooden spoons either but I have a, a Serbian mess kit stuff there. But these are beautiful, beautiful rice noodles now. So, losing half, half the daggone noodles right here. But we're gonna get them in here. This is a little small pot. How's that, man? We'll just throw it out there like that. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna put some water in here. Let's get this going first, man. Where I, this is my Swedish canteen with US cover. But uh, let's get some of the stuff going here. Got my, got my knife here somewhere. I had my knife here somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh, Jack. Oh, it's in my hand. How you like that, man? It's in my, it's in my hand. So, yeah, we're gonna. So we got the alcohol going. Take a while to bloom and everything else. So I'm gonna put it on this this uh, holder here. Wow. Uh, and this one here. Let's see how this works.
can't tell if it's going, but uh, got this hand sanitizer stuff here. Got some fresh stuff on there. See if we can get this bad boy going. I'm at an awkward angle here. In fact, it came apart a little. I hit it. Not going with that. I'm gonna go with this. I got matches in my pocket. I have a lighter. There she goes. That's pellets in my little wood stove here. So she's going good. She's going to catch. We'll let it go and uh, see how that goes, man. Put my knife here. I'm going to start. Uh, I think I want to put the noodles on here. So I'm going to, um, in my Swedish canteen here, I'm kind of not boiling water and then putting this first. I never used that. I just got this by mistake. Well, the size. But, uh, Let's see how this goes, man. You know, I didn't even take the label off it. But, uh, we'll see. Yep. Did I plan this? Yes. Did the plans work out? No. Um, now, and this alcohol stove, I'm pushing it down a little bit. Because it kind of buckled a bit but I got the noodles cooking here and uh, when that cooks down I'll put the, uh, the spices in there but uh, so I got these cooking and these this this will stay going a while that'll stay going a while um, things didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted, but uh, we had I wanted to do this outside. I'm not going to open the front, but but then again, I want to do it in here because I'm not going to be here long. My daughter sold the property. It uh, basically sold in less than two weeks. This is great area, man. Obviously, so this hobo's got to move on. So yeah, man, I got to move on. So so I figured I'd do the cooking here right here and we got this stuff cooking and we got the tea going we got the noodles going got the spoon going I got some nice uh, tape bread and some homemade cookies over here but it's a noodle challenge I eat noodles all the time and I think most of us do um, I like the rice noodles and again anyone who has dietary problems that's the way to go uh, I don't but I, I just I just think they're they're better they're just great man but uh, so we're gonna cook this and uh, I'm gonna put the top on that'll catch and that'll go really nice it it shouldn't uh, catch fire in here there's ventilation at the door over there I put a Christmas tree here to block where I used to come in and out I was gonna do a uh, wood stove here my uh, Shasta slash frontier stove but I, uh, let's see if you can see the fire. You can see the fire going right here. But, it, you know, I was going to do that and take it in and out. But I, then, when I was up in New Hampshire, winter quarters up in New Hampshire, I have a French Chappie stove up there that I gave to my friend, but he's not going to use it, so I'm taking it back here. I was going to put it here. But my daughter sold the property, so this whole ball has got to move on, man. Um, so I'll put the stove in my shed for now. But, uh, again, it's a noodle challenge. I think it from Camp Kaywood. He's the one who started it. Um, so, Paul Bushcraft Bites. If he wants to do a challenge, noodle challenge, fine. Very talented. You know, and, and Camper Vantix is very talented with bushcraft and outdoor stuff, you know. I do a little bit of everything, you know. But um, 
Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I had someone else over here in the States that I uh, I got a little list here. Oh, 1972 Woodsman. This would be perfect for him because he does it all the time anyways, man. He's got a mixed bag like me, some military stuff. You know, this is an old, an old U.S. bag. He probably knows what it is because he deals in that stuff. Uh, I got the Swedish Canteen U.S. cover. Um... A mixed bag of stuff but uh, yeah 1972 woodsman's got a lot of good stuff he's you know he's just just goes out there walks along say hey I gotta sit down man I'm gonna I'm gonna make some lunch or something gets out in the woods so it's pretty cool you watch him watch Camper Vantix and Paul's bushcraft bites I look pretty there with that little mark there what am I like I'm playing football or something am I playing football Super Bowl I don't know man there you go, man. That's my team. So I figured I'd pick up a hat. So I figured I'd wear it today, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's been crazy weather up north. Uh, about, well, anyway, about 12 miles from my house. We had snow. And then you saw me last week when I did the uh, hot tent camping. You got two more videos coming out of there. Another one coming out of winter quarters way up north. So, but I, I don't want to just put them on all at once. So, but. I got challenged with this and uh, is it a burden no not really because I eat noodles all the time and that's what I I didn't think I had my first you know I'm getting old man I'm getting old you know, little memory I forgot that I put them in my uh, I thought I forgot them down the truck and I'm not going to get that I was gonna do these noodles but I did want to show you the the option of there's great noodles out there you know and there's also people who can't have certain things there's uh just like they i don't know if they call them bean noodles or bean curd whatever they have some of those too and i did buy some of those but uh this stuff is cooking man and uh oh yeah it's getting hot already tea's getting hot um i had in this bag here i had the wood stove i had the gas stove and I think there's an, um, no, there wouldn't be an Esben in the gas stove. I thought I had an alcohol stove in there. I'm, I wasn't sure, but I brought one up here just in case. Um, so I got stuff in all kinds of bags. But um, I know I'm doing a lot of jaw jacking. But the noodles, man, you can't beat it. What's good about the noodles, they have a lot of surface area. They cook quick. That's what you want. You want a small fire, you cook quick. Um, I don't know why it's smoking, probably because of the paper on there, I don't know. Is that? Not really, that, that's just burning right now. Um, wood pellets like, wood pellets like headspace to go up. It's burning good. I put this little pan in there in case the ashes fell down. This is a brazier, but I put the top on there so I can cook on top of it. Uh, I was going to do this outside, but uh, no but so anyways I'll get back do you see the fire going here um, see watch when I take this off you can see that flame pretty good man uh, but one thing I like about a shelter like this or any canvas shelter Sun comes up you know the Sun's up you know you can dye it walnut whatever you want but but this is nice man you know you got the sunlight it's nice you can see what's going on and if you watch some of these these alone um, videos most of them say it's they hate when it's dark in there but uh, like growing in the woods and different people but these are pellets burning in my little stove here I don't think it's a Lixada I think it's just a knockoff or whatever but uh, yeah it's burning pretty good there man so not, oh yes see that boiling already look at that Jack come on look it See it boiling already? Look at that. Noodles are done. And this fire's still got a long way to go. So I'm gonna take that off. And you gotta watch out here. If I spill this stuff, I am not gonna be a happy camper. But uh I mean, basically, uh, I mean, the noodles are, were boiling already, so, and this is real time, what you're seeing when they started boiling. So, 
I'm gonna put these spices in there. I might have hot sauce in the other bag, I don't know. But yeah, let's put this in there. Oh yeah, now you're talking. But uh, we're gonna watch this here, man. I don't uh, burn myself here. Nice little serving spoon here. I'm gonna serve you a mess kit. And uh, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, baby. I mean, these noodles look like they're almost done already because I, I put them in ahead of time to soak. I'll put them on here a little bit, a little more, with the top off. Now, it's just like you're making spaghetti. You put the top on, the water balls, you take it off, then you put the pasta in, you know. You know how it goes, man. But, uh, yeah. So, so, I'll get back there, shut this off for a second. And watch this, my little clicker's working, man. You know, I was clicking before, it wasn't working. There we go. I'll be back. Hell no, it's not working. Yeah, I'm back. I mean, the noodles are basically done. Tea's good. I just want to show you, if you're making pasta, or vermicelli or something like that, or whatever, rice, I picked these up at Walmart, they were on sale, but you can you can get them, but you don't see them around too often, but you get the, I've used them before, like doing the bushcraft uh, show, uh, you know, I got a little sauce, man, it's like, you know, take it back, back, whenever you throw some sauce, I'm not going to do that with this, because that's regular stuff right there, man, but, uh, it's throwing some heat here, too, man, it's cool, but, uh, yeah, you can get some sauce, I don't see any hot sauce, man, but, uh, yeah, so, I had planned to be here a couple hours early. I was going to break my hammock and all that down, and I'm going to do that. But I wanted to do it uh, earlier, but it's better this way anyways, because now the sun's starting to come out. We're getting a little breeze. It'll dry things out. This I won't take down until uh, maybe within within the next two weeks. But, yeah, it's going to be the end of my hobo camp here. But you know what? We had, a, had some snow with over half like six tenths of an a, of a inch of ice on top of that this thing held out I couldn't believe it I was expected that the whole thing would be level no it held up uh, probably some water ran underneath a little bit but basically it's pretty good um, I would have been fine in here um, so that part's good you know but uh, So, yeah, we got the stove going. We're staying nice. I'm going to take these noodles off, man. You know, I don't, know if, I don't think I put too much work. But it, this worked. The small one worked. It's good enough. And uh, I'll let this, I'm going to let it cool down. And we got a nice little fire going here. See that? Cool. Nice little fire going. Um, throw this in there. Leave my knife and... EDC, I always carry these little things with me. Um, so, just leave them over here for now. But uh, yeah, we got the tea, we got the fire going, man. We're, we're cool. You know, uh, let's see here. I could have put twi That's everything's wet outside. It's really bad. I do have some tinder over here, but uh, I, I keep pellets with me too in, in uh, times when you need something to uh, light, quick, dry. This will burn a very, this will burn about almost almost an hour, believe it or not, uh, about an hour. And uh, when the flame goes out, you still got lots of heat with these pellets. Uh, the bigger pellets work good in these stoves or in your IKEA strainer. Um, and it's really throwing some nice heat in here. I got ventilation over here by the Christmas tree. Got the door open down there. We're fine, man. And this kind of overlaps over here, so got plenty of ventilation. But uh, so what's the deal? Yeah, we'll be out of here. And uh, I got some videos coming up. I'm not, you know, uh, footage from uh, my campouts in the in the snow, hot tenting. Uh, you know, up in up north New Hampshire, um, got that. I uh, got a nice uh, mountain man event coming up, week long event. I don't know if I'll go for the whole week, but I will set up my camp for a week. Uh, 
that would be pretty cool. Where we camped the last time, that's it. Uh, it's been 30 years, and uh, summer, winter, it's all over to 30 years. They're selling a big part of the property. So that was kind of our our thing, man. But uh, that's cool. My son loved it. Even my grandson said, too bad he wanted to go. He's nine. He likes the outdoor too. But, but we'll have a good time, man. So this is not real exciting. But, uh, again, noodles. Got us some good you know, ramen. If you want to do ramen, fine. But I like these Thai noodles. Um, they're very good. The ingredients are good. None of that crap in there. And uh, I have, have them in, in most of my bags. See, they cost about a dollar twenty. They get some on sale for seventy-five cents. That you don't see that too often. But uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I feel nice heat right here. This is it's throwing some good heat here, man. So check these out. Oh yeah. I bet it's still kind of hot, man. Hmm. Little pot worked out pretty good. Pretty nice man. Oh yeah, these these rice noodles are cool. Oh man, that 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 burned my mouth up. But uh so this is the noodle challenge. And again, that you can do what you want. You, you know, it's not like the steak challenge where you're you're sharing some issues and things and I was never in on that, but uh I could tell you some stuff, but uh, we all, yeah, I've been through a lot of stuff too, emotionally. But uh, people help each other. God helps me. People help each other. Always that helps, man. You know, look out for each other. Even here on YouTube, you know, we, we got a group here. We got a tight knit group here. You know, if you see someone drifting, he's got a problem or something, you know. stop in you know that's how we do it mmm damn <laughs> I always say it's good because I'm hungry you know definitely hot sauce would have been good but that tea is like boiling away um, and that's okay I like my you know camper Vantix he's doing his video in the snow over there which is real nice <laughs> And you say, hey, Quinny asked him how you like your tea and everything, and you don't put milk in it. Now, I never said I don't put milk in my tea in any of my videos. He must have been watching. Maybe it must be a UK thing. You know, they watch your brew. I don't know. No, I don't put milk in my tea. Not at home. Not here. Never do. Never put milk in my tea. But he picked up on that. And uh, that's true. I don't. Now, coffee, if I'm home, I'll put milk in it. If I'm in the field or my camp or whatever, I drink it black. So, just so you know, man. But, uh, yeah. So, I might shut this off for a while. I'm going to eat the, the noodle, noodles. are just great. Try these rice noodles. Any rice noodles. But I like this Thai, Thai garden, Thai kitchen. Thai kitchen, I think they're called. And a little pot work. This is fine, man. And a small gas canisters fit right in here. Nice, too, so. I did buy a new stove, um, Peak One. I have four or five gas stoves now. Um, I like to have stuff, combination of things in every bag. I even bought another Esbit type stove, so. Mm. Damn, it's hot, it's good though. But I'll get, these are the noodles. I'll get back to you and then I'm gonna have some tea. And I, I better take that off, cause uh, let that cool down a bit. But we got to look at a nice fire we got going there, man. Staying nice and warm in here. That's cool. But, uh, noodle challenge. You got Paul's Bushcraft Bites. You got a 1972 Woodsman. Piece of cake. Piece of cake for both of them. Both very good um, outdoorsmen. Have a mixed bag of stuff. Check them out. And uh, Camper Vantix, too. He's, 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 uh, pretty talented too so but uh, he's a wild lad he's a wild lad it's cool good dude though sometimes I act crazy too
but uh, mm, mm. damn, that tastes good. So, Quinny Eskimo. I get back to you with the uh, with the tea.